quarter, the judges 15, the Eagles 7.
Hey, buddy. See that pancake? Kaylin. I did. I'm going to go jacket for me. I know. I know. It's Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. We're here at the half. Clark leads Hanley 28 to 14. Peyton Rutherford has three touchdowns rushing. Kyle Baylor has a touchdown rushing. Kobe Childs has completed a couple passes. The rain has stopped. Uh, it's pretty nice out here now. Hopefully, we're going to get the rest of this game in dry. But uh, we'll be back shortly with the second half. You're watching the ClarkCountySports.com Game of the Week from the Felt. Wilbur M. Feltner Stadium in Berryville, Virginia. Clark leads 28-14.
with a knuckle rod. This is Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. We're here with Peyton Rutherford after the Eagles fall to Hanley, 41 to 35. Peyton, you had uh, four scores, I believe, tonight. Can you just talk a little bit about the game? Um, you know, we started off strong in the game. The first two quarters, we were, you know, we were killing them. We were shooting. Line was doing really good, and then we came out second half, and they just beat us up front and in the backfield. They just they had more energy. They finished the game, and we didn't. And uh, I know it affected both teams, but what was it like having to sit around and wait like an hour and a half? Um, it was a little different, you know. I, you know, no, much, not much people expect that. You know, you're waiting on the game, you're all excited for it, waiting to get ready, and then you got to wait another two hours, and you kind of go. It's kind of like bland, and you're like, oh no, you know, it doesn't feel like you're about to play a game. Now you've opened up against two tough teams, both of them. Uh, 4A and maybe a 3A. I'm not sure if the family's 3 or 4, but uh, you've hung tough against both teams. Now you go to Waynesboro. What do you do to prepare for those guys? 
Uh, coaches have us have good plans for us, and I think we're going to just you know forget this and move on to next week. All right, we heard that from Peyton Rutherford, who had four touchdowns and uh, I'm sure several close to 200 yards at least. And uh, we'll be heading to Waynesboro next week. This is Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. Thanks. Thank you. We're here with Colby Childs after the Eagles fall to Hanley. Tough game tonight, Colby. You guys had it had the upper hand there for a while, but they came back. Can you just talk a little bit about the game? Uh, you know, we came out. We played hard. Uh, I mean, the weather was, you know, it was tough to play on. People were sliding around. Uh, just, you know, sitting around, you get all bored and stuff, and then, like, you're just, you just lose all your, like, energy and everything like that. But then, like, we got in the game. We played hard at the beginning of the game, and then at the end we just fell apart uh, emotionally and physically. So You had, uh, like I was telling Peyton, you had two good uh 4A teams. I'm not sure if Hanley's 4A or 3A, but uh, definitely above your competition level, and you hung tough in both games. Uh, how do you handle uh, the disappointment and get ready for Waynesboro? Uh, we just got to forget about the game, you know, keep practicing like we, we've been practicing, and then just come out and play hard and play our best, and we got to have each other's backs. That's the one thing. I mean, we just, I mean, at the end of the game, we just we just lost it like we weren't we didn't have each other's backs nothing so if we just stay together throughout the whole game we will win okay well you heard that from colby childs they played a valiant game tonight but came up a touchdown short we'll be heading to waynesboro next week for game three of the season this is mo murphy from clark county sports Thanks, we're here with head coach chris parker after the disappointing loss to hanley coach uh, tough game you had the upper hand but they made a comeback oh yeah they certainly did i mean you know we had we had the game uh we let them back in the game and uh it was it was tough agonizing loss and uh you know when i talked to the team i didn't sugarcoat it i mean it, it was you know gut-wrenching it was an agonizing loss we did some good things but we also need to correct some things and we knew going into the game that they had a pretty solid team, and if number three is something special. Yeah. And they did not do really anything that we didn't expect them to do. It's just that we uh, have to execute a little bit better. Um, both sides of the ball. I mean, anytime you have a lead like that and you blow it, I mean, that's bad news. And did I ever hear you say as long as you've been coaching, this is the first time you ever had a delay like this? Uh, I think so in a regular game. I mean, that's not an excuse because they had, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. They, they had to do it too. But yeah, I think it is. I think. And one good thing I, I saw tonight was Baja. He sure. He was did a weapon. His job. He did his job. He's a weapon. And uh, you know, if we if we had the opportunity at the end there to maybe kick a field goal for the win, I got total confidence in him. Right. Now, and it was six or seven kicks out of the end zone is pretty amazing for high school ball, too. Yes. Uh, what do you know about Waynesboro? Well, we're playing away. Uh, I mean, we're, we'll get a better uh, scout on once we see them. I haven't seen them live uh, yet, but uh, I'll see them on film this weekend. Uh, you know, they'll be solid. They'll have athletes. I don't know I don't know if they'll have anybody like number three, Curry, for Hanley, but they'll have some athletes and – you know, I told our guys, uh, we'll see what our true character is, you know, and what kind of men we're going to be. Uh, we got to get back to work on Monday. Okay, well, you heard that from head coach Chris Parker as the Eagles drop a heartbreaker in Hanley at the felt. Be on the road next week to Waynesboro. This is Mo Murphy from Clark County Sports. Thanks a lot. The final score tonight, the Hanley judges 41, Clark County 35. Clark jumped way out in front, 35 to 14, at the start of the second half. Looked like they had everything going their way, and uh, one of the biggest momentum shifts I think I've ever seen in 50 some years of watching football. Haley just came back and uh, put four scores on the board, kind of took over, got out of here with the 41 to 35 win. They moved to 3 and 0. Clark moves to 0 and 2. They'll travel to Waynesboro next week for the third game of the season. Once again, tonight's final score, Hanley judges 41, 
Clark County Eagles 35. This is Mo Murphy signing off from the felt. Wilbur M. Feltner Stadium in Berryville, Virginia for the ClarkCountySports.com Game of the Week.